Hey everybody, it's Harry from Celebrate Daddy Barbecue. We're cooking on the Smoke Fire EX6 again. Today we're cooking a beautiful Wagyu prime rib sent to me by my buddy Johnny Love of Hunts Point Meats. He's having a promotion for the holidays uh, offering discounts and uh, on my uh, Slappy Daddy site we're also offering 20% discount on rubs and sauces on soupbase.com. We're cooking this Wagyu prime rib to perfection using a garlic rosemary rub. We're going to sear it on the, the, using a grill gun to get it to absolute Wagyu prime rib perfection. Let's season our Wagyu prime rib bone-in roast. I have about uh, four or five tablespoons of garlic here. I'm going to add some uh, chopped herbs. I have rosemary and thyme here. And uh, we're going to add a little bit of olive oil. Kind of like create a little slurry. So maybe about two tablespoons of olive oil. And this garlic will go on top of the uh, prime rib and uh, let the Wagyu sit overnight wrapped in uh, saran wrap or plastic wrap so that we can get a nice herbal garlic flavor before we cook it in the pit. We're gonna smoke it at around 200 degrees for about four hours or so to get the internal temperature to be about 138 degrees. Let's begin by uh, adding a little bit of schmear to the uh, Wagyu prime rib here. I'm gonna add a little bit of uh, first place USA, my Moolah beef rub. Get a nice even layer on the outside. And because we put the uh, beef concentrate, we have a little smear going, so it will stick really nicely. Get some on the side, so. All right, let's get our slurry on. degrees and we're putting it in let's spray the prime rib get some uh, of the I can't believe it's not butter on it like that keep it nice and moist let's make our horseradish cream which is uh, equal parts of horseradish with some sour cream as much as or as little as you like Mix the two together, give it a taste and see if it's uh, kind of enough horseradish or you can kind of mix it to your own liking as to how you like it on your beef. Give a taste test. Woo! Ooh, that's strong. That's good. Excellent. When I serve prime rib, I serve it with some au jus and you can make your au jus which takes a lot of time and hours to roast the bones and everything. Uh, here's a secret tip that professional chefs use. Professionals use a uh, product from Miners, which is a Nestle company. This is using commercial production in restaurants and it's called an au jus prep beef concentrate. So this is not a very expensive jar, but it saves you hours and hours of work when you want to create the, the really good tasting au jus. I'm going to put some, maybe a one tablespoon into about two cups of water here and create my own wonderful au jus to go with the prime rib. Just mix it up and you taste it to the concentration you want to get to the saltiness level. And it's a really a, a shortcut secret way to create wonderful jus for your prime rib. Give it a taste test and see if it's salty enough. That's about perfect. Once you get the internal temperature to be about 138, you can go ahead and sear the outside. I'm gonna use a grill gun. Let's 
get ready to slice into the prime rib, the way you want to do it is to go ahead and cut the bones off. And uh, what you want to do is you want to run your knife on the back here and kind of cut off the three bones roast here. So just gently slice it until the bone comes apart. And this is the best eating part. Save it for your special guests. And these make really, really good eating. And I, in my family, everybody fights over this part. Our garlic crusted prime rib is ready. Let's take a slice through it, see how it looks like. Okay, drum roll please. And look at that, how beautiful it is. Pink all the way to the edge and uh, cooked to perfection. I like to pull it off around 138 and give it a nice sear, but uh, you can cook at any temperature you like. When you cook at 200 degrees in the pit, you can actually get the pink all the way to the edge. There's minimal shrinkage on your prime rib. You paid a lot of money for it, so you definitely want to preserve it so that you don't lose a lot of the primary to shrinkage. I'm going to cut myself a little slice here. Well, actually a big slice. Oh, the, salt, the garlic crust is falling off. Mr. Beans has made a run for it. It looks absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to plate it kind of like a prime rib style. I like to cut up the, ho the heel here. Let's give this a taste test here. It's absolutely amazing looking. Let me cut a piece of my favorite part, which is the Spinalis Dorsi. A red cap, that's the best tasting part. When you have a steak contest, that's the part that the judges are going to be eating. Let's dip it in the jus here. Give it a little bit of a horseradish touch, radish cream here. And that is a beautiful prime rib bite right here. Mm -mm -mm. Wow, I wish you could be here to taste and smell this. Uh, Hunts Points Meats Wagyu, absolutely, absolutely amazing flavor. It's tender, juicy, moist. Has that kind of a oleic acid that only comes from Wagyu that is kind of like a silky feeling. It's really, really <laughs> pleasurable to eat. Uh, that was the Spinalis Dorsi. Let me eat a piece from the eye now. Right in the middle here. A little bit of garlic on it here. So look at that little garlic morsel in the eye. Mmm, good garlic. Really is a great complement to the beef. Absolutely amazing flavor of the garlic and beef. And let's move on to my favorite part here, which is this piece here, bone in prime rib roast. And uh, this is the part that's absolutely delish. Let me get a tiny bit of horseradish on this. Get a bite of this. Look at that. That rib is absolutely fantastic. There's nothing like beef rib. Smoky, salty, all that beefy goodness. So, enough of me enjoying the prime rib. Let's see if Mr. Beans, who's been waiting very patiently, he can also want to try some. Let me get, cut him a piece here. All right, Mr. Beans, time for your snack here with prime rib here. I got you a piece of rib, a piece of the uh, rib cap, and a piece of the eye. Okay, so let's see which one you goes for first. Sniffing it. Oh, he's sniffing it. Oh, he went for the Spinalis Dorsi. It's moving on to the eye. And he's eating the rib meat next. the plate clean. I think he likes prime rib, especially Wagyu prime rib. All right, good job. E. Again, I'd like to thank Hunts Point Meats for sending me this Wagyu three bone prime rib, about five pounds. It's absolutely delicious. I'd like to do a shout out also to my Patreons for helping me keep the channel going so I can provide free content for YouTube. If you guys have any questions about how to cook this prime rib, please ask in the question below. 
you know I answer every one of your questions. So until the next video, please like, subscribe, and share, and we will see ya. Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and Happy New Year, everybody.